Hello, in this session we will save the uh, our model into the uh, disk. For this I have copied the uh, model creation logic from the uh, session 11 and the uh, load data from the uh, text file. Along with this also copy the uh, train data set and the uh, input model. Here after creating model we want to save it. For this we need to use the context.model.save The first parameter is the model that we want to save Next is the schema Obtain it from the training data Next is the location where you want to save the model And save it with the name salaryproductionmodel.zip Update the program.cs file. Save all the files and run the project. Let me open the bin directory. Extract the zip Training info contain the version detail for the assembly Transfer chain is an important folder. It contains the model.key file it is a binary file that each trainer added in the pipeline. When you save the file with the loader, it also contains the detail about the data loader. It specifies the header for the data flow. We can use this zip file instead of creating the model again. Let me delete this file for now. There are several overloaded methods for the save model. Here we have specified the file path, but we can also provide a stream instead of this. Let me comment this first. Create a file stream on the same location And use the context.model.save method. But this time we will pass the stream. Save the file and run the project. Here the file is created again. Let me delete this again to show you third way to center this. In those two ways we are used the schema for the data view. But we can also do it with the data loader instead of the data view. Let me comment this first. Let me create the multi-file source. For the training data set. Using this, we can load the uh, multiple files in the uh, data loader. Previously, we have passed the uh, multiple files in the uh, load method of the uh, text loader. We can also do the uh, same thing here. Create the uh, text loader for the input model. It has the uh, header and separator will be comma. Data sample will be the uh, multi file source instance. Now we have the uh, data loader. So call the SU method. Here instead of the schema, I pass the uh, data loader on the same location. Save the file and run the project.
a zip file is created again. Let's see what we have learned in this session. In this session, we have learned how we can save the model context.model.save method. To save the model, we can either pass the path or the stream. We can also use the schema of the data view or pass the data loader. Stay tuned for the next session.